I am an Open Sousa fan. I used to be a Fedora fanboy, and before that, I was an Arch Linux fanboy. I have obviously moved between different distributions a lot over the course of the last five years, or six years, I suppose, now. And as I moved through Linux distributions, I became fans of those Linux distributions, especially when I stuck around for a small period of time. I would become invested in that distribution. I would talk about that distribution a lot, either on the channel or in Discord or on Mastodon or on Twitter or whatever. And I would become a fan boy of that distribution. And I think that this is just something that a lot of people do. Now, there is another group of people out there who have no real attachment to their distribution. Linux is just a tool for them. They could switch to another distribution and be perfectly fine. It's just a tool. It doesn't matter to them whatsoever. But a vast majority of us Linux nerds get very, very attached to our Linux distribution. We become fans or fanatics about our distribution, and we tend to spread that fanaticism to others, or we try to spread that fanaticism to others by touting how great our distribution is. We talk about how the package manager is better than all the other package managers and how the software repo that we use is the biggest ever and how the distro we have offers the most desktop environments or window managers or whatever. You know, we we talk about the how awesome our distribution is and we want to see as many people use our distro as possible. I know now that I've been using OpenSUSE for over a month. I'm beginning to be like that with OpenSUSE. I, every time someone asks me, what should I hop to next? And I say, OpenSUSE, of course, because I'm an OpenSUSE fanboy now. You know, So being a fan of a distribution isn't wrong. I, I'm not saying that what we do here is wrong. But there are, of course, those people who take it a little bit too far that are very, very pushy about their distribution. And th this does. This is not limited to just one distribution. You know, we, we make fun of the Arch fanboys, and we have for 20 years. But they're not alone in their fanaticism, right? The, we have a whole community of Gen 2 users who are very proud that they use Gen 2, very proud that they install Gen 2, and uh, would like to see everybody use Gen 2 because they consider it the peak of Linux evolution. I'm sure that there is a very small portion of people out there who use Linux from scratch that are very proud that they use Linux from scratch and have talked about it ad nauseum. I'm sure that those people exist. There's not that many of them, of course, because most people don't have that type of patience, but you know they probably do exist. And there are people out there who are Fedora fanboys and Ubuntu fanboys and you name it. If you have a distribution that has any type of following, you have some fanatics in that audience. The latest and greatest of these, of course, is NixOS. Now, NixOS has been around for 20 years. It's been around for a very long time, but it's recently become a distribution that is very much in with the cool kids, right? Every cool kid wants to use NixOS because it has flashy toys and has a configuration file. Like, those things are brand new. Like, ooh. And we, I don't know about you guys, but we've been using configuration files for a very, very long time. Uh, this is not a new thing. Hell, NixOS has been using... I mean, that's the whole point of NixOS. It's not anything special, okay? Like, just chill out. But I, I, I'm okay with that. <laughs> you, you can tell I've been being badgered about NixOS for a while. And that's kind of my point of this video is that the... Fans of these particular distributions can be a little bit pushy from time to time. I know that I can when I have discovered my fandom of a certain distribution. I tend to push it onto other people as well. And the psychology behind this is that we all think that what we're using is the best. Even if we have problems with the thing that we're using, we still want other people to use it. Probably because we enjoy having them suffer alongside of us. So if you're using a distribution that you absolutely hate, but you have to use it for work reasons or whatever, let's just say you work at some place that does use Linux, but they, they give you an Ubuntu laptop and you can't stand Ubuntu, but you can't change to a different distribution. You want to probably see other people suffer alongside of you with having to use Ubuntu. So it even applies to people who don't enjoy the, the distribution that they use. 
And obviously this is not something that happens to everybody. You know, like I said before, there's an entire group of people out there who have no interest whatsoever in their distribution at all. It's just a tool for them and they just go about doing their work every day and then move off and smell some grass. The rest of us Linux nerds are very invested in the distribution that we use. And because of that investment, we spend time customizing it and getting it set up the exact way we want to. We get involved in the community. Maybe if we're talented enough, we can start, you know, creating some code or some bug fixes or we start working on the documentation to help out, whatever. We get involved and we get very invested in the distribution. And the more investment we put into that distribution, the more we're wanting other people to use it. That fandom, if you will, can create tribes. Now, we've talked a little bit about tribalism, Linux tribalism specifically on this channel before. We all, there is a, I know some people argue, some Linux YouTubers argue that there is no such thing as the Linux community. I argue that there is such a thing as a Linux community and you can experience that no matter where you are inside of it. But I also argue that the Linux community is fragmented just like Linux is fragmented. Every distribution has its own subsection of the Linux community that is inside of it. So you have the Arch fanboys, you have the people who install Gentoo, you have the Ubuntu guys, you have the, the Debian guys, you have OpenSUSE, all the, you know, it's just a bunch of tribes within inside of the Linux community, and they don't always get along. Who am I kidding? Of course they don't get along because they all want to do the things that they do in the way that they do them and they see that any other way of doing those things as wrong or stupid or inefficient or horrible or dumb or whatever, you, know, you, you name the adjective, they probably think it. This whole idea behind being a fan of your distribution creates a sense of belonging to that particularly small group of, of, of a community, and that allows people to be very, I was going to say possessive, but all, I guess that word does kind of work, but it also makes them protective of their distribution. And also, and this is a big one, it makes them defensive about their distribution. Even if they play a very small role in the community, they're just using the distribution, but they're really a fan of it. They can be very touchy when you say something bad about their distribution. There's many, many examples of this, right? And it doesn't really, there's, my, my biggest example that I've experienced personally is the Endeavor OS guys. I made a, <laughs> this is stupid. I made a top five arts based Linux distribution video, probably about two years ago. It did very well at that time. And uh, Endeavor OS was like number four on that list. You know, of the many different arts based distributions, I put Endeavor OS four and oh my God, did that piss the Endeavor OS guys off. They had forum posts about me. Like they were calling me a fat idiot. You know, this guy, this guy obviously doesn't know anything about Arch Linux. He doesn't know anything about Endeavor OS. He's obviously never used Endeavor OS. How could he possibly rank this thing number four? Oh my God, the horror. He ranked us four out of five out of a hundred. <laughs> You know, it, the people really seriously got upset about that video. That So uh, every time I think about this whole tribalism, fanatic, fandom thing, that's what I remember because it was so weird. Like, I complimented Endeavor OS in that video. I said it was really good. It wasn't the best one. At that point, I was an Arco Linux fanboy, so of course, Arco Linux was the first one on the list. It's the one that I had the most experience with. It's the one that I liked the most, and it was my list, so I could put them in any order that I wanted to. It was really cool. It's, it's really nice how that works, right? It's my YouTube channel. I can do whatever the I want, but... <laughs> They didn't seem to understand that. And, and it wasn't as if I said, oh, number four is the worst one on the list. You know, it, it was it was just silly. Linux users have this thing, right? And it's not just Endeavor OS, guys. So I, I, I don't want to get I, no more forum posts about it, please. <laughs> it's not just them. You know, it's Gentoo. It's, you know, the regular Arch guys. Ubuntu fanboys exist. Debian fanboys. OpenSUSE fanboys. You name it. You know, they're out there and man, do they get super defensive, even if you say something good about their distribution, but say it in a 
odd tone or you maybe you have a weird look on your face when you're talking about it you know the, anything can set people off when they're so passionate about the distribution that they use and the thing is is that I'm no different right I I will say that I'm more transitory in my interest in distributions than most of these fanboys probably are. So I I move my fanboyish, you know, fanboyness, fanboy, fan, my fanaticism, that's probably the word that I'm looking for. I move that from one distribution to another as I start using them because I, I do distro hop or at least, you know, I have in the past many times. And right now I'm claiming, claiming to be on the last distribution that I'll ever install, but we'll see how long that lasts. I know that many people have zero faith that I'll actually last more than a week. I'm pretty sure that there's a person in the last video that I said, well, you're not even going to last another week. Like, yeah, I can do it. But the point is is that as i moved from distro to distro i became a fan of that distribution if i used it for any amount of time and it was really good for that amount of time i became a fan of it and i tried to get other people to use it so i'm not immune to this fanaticism that other people have when it comes to their distribution i'm, I'm not immune to it and i i think i understand it because like i said as you get more invested in something the more protective and possessive and defensive about it you become it becomes yours, right? Even if you play a such, like I said, a, such a small role in it, it feels like something that you've put effort into. It feels like when you're a member of a community, when you're a member of a club, you want to protect that club. You want to have pride in that club. You want to have a sense of ownership over that thing. And that sense of ownership can lead to friction when there are other clubs out there that are so very similar. So... Linux is one big club. We have subgroups, right? And they, they don't mesh together all that well. And we're all, tr it, it's not a war. Like we're not, the Gen 2 guys and the Arch guys aren't going to start fighting each other, but they are trying to convince the other side that their club is the best. And that all those guys in the Arch side should come over to the Gen 2 side. Uh, all the Arch guys are trying to get the Gen 2 guys to come over and say the Arch is the best thing ever. You know, we're all we're all car salesmen trying to get the other s groups inside of the Linux community to, co to come use our distribution because we think our distribution is the best. And we're all right. We're also all wrong, of course, but we're all definitely right. So my little rambly video today was just to be... Uh, just to kind of put it out there to, to get people to start thinking about themselves when it comes to their fanaticism. Because I, I know it doesn't apply to everybody. Like I said, there are people out there who have, they don't care what distribution they use. It's just a tool. They open up their laptop for their eight hours a day at work or whatever, and th then they move on for the rest of their lives. And that's fine. And that's the way most people do. Believe it or not, Linux is not my entire life. I do other things outside of the computer. So I, I understand that. But for a lot of people in the Linux community, and I think the, a vast majority of my audience, it has it's not only a tool, but it's also a hobby. It's a interest. It's something that we all have become interested in and have put you know, research hours into, and we follow YouTube channels about about it, and we go read blog posts and all this stuff. We join Discord servers and Discord forums, and we get on Matrix and Mastodon and whatever, and we talk to people and we meet people about and you know make friends in this community and stuff like that. And it's it's something that I think we should all kind of understand about ourselves is that we do. You know, we, we're part of the Linux community, but we're also probably part of another smaller community. And that tribalism can lead to friction. It can also lead to arrogance. I mean, to be honest with you, we can all be quite arrogant about the distribution that we like so much. So just kind of be self-aware along the lines and keep, tone it down a little bit. Those of you who's, who use NixOS... Tone it down a bit, please. <laughs> I beg you, please. Uh, I'll get to NixOS eventually, I promise, but I don't need to hear, hear about it every single day. I know that there's somebody down in the comments section right now. You should really try NixOS. It's fantastic. I'm sure it is. It's the best distro ever.
right? Anyways, that's it, for, that's it for this video. If you have thoughts on this, you can leave those in the comment section below. If you haven't already, leave a thumbs up on this video. It really does help the channel. You can follow me on Masters on Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Links for PayPal and YouTube will be in the video description if you want to support me there as well. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very, very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. I know there are a couple of brand new YouTube members as well, uh, and you're not on this list yet, so I apologize for that. I'll get that settled on tonight. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time. I hope everybody has a wonderful day.